Hi, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to today's real talk. Sorry for the late start. All right. I uh, hope everyone's weekend is great so far. How's your Saturday night or Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon? Mine is good. All right. We. Uh, I thought I did a good job, or I thought I have done a good job, giving you a comprehensive analysis of the PLA submarine accident in my last live stream. Um, that's October, October 5th. Guess what? I was wrong. The story is far from over. We have new development. A Taiwanese media claimed um, a torpedo explosion was the cause of the, um, the PLA nuclear submarine disaster. And this is completely different from the British reports claiming a deadly air circulation malfunction, um, which was caused by a trap by the PLA's own anti-submarine devices. So which story is credible? The British report or the Taiwanese report? Let's conduct a what I call a political forensics political forensic study tonight. Uh, I think the answer the answers might have revealed how the CCP use uses foreign press for influence. So I'll first give you a uh, a rundown of what the Taiwanese media has said, and then I will uh, compare it to um, the British reports by Daily Mail, and then I'll uh, I'll do I'll offer my opinion and uh, and say which one I think is more credible. So let me first tell you what's being said in the Taiwanese press. Actually, I do have a, a print. Um, okay, let's for those of you who are not familiar with. The incident. Let me just say a few words quickly about um, what has happened. Just very quickly. Well, this uh, PLA Type 93 nuclear-powered submarine was suspected to have been involved in an accident in late August, but it was immediately uh, and it was immediately reported on social media. Beijing dismissed it as rumors. On uh, October 3rd, British media uh, Daily News, I mean, Daily Mail, reported that the submarine was trapped by a device used by the PLA to block Western submarines, um, which eventually led to the fatal malfunction of its circulation system, killing 55 sailors. So this, this was the report. And the same story was also reported by The Times, um, the UK's The Times on October the 4th. And other media outlets around the world followed uh, their reporting. Then, uh, so here's the uh, the Times report. And then on October the 5th, a Taiwanese media, it's called uh, Up Media, that's its English name, came out with a different story. Quoting sources from Beijing, it claimed that a torpedo explosion was the cause of the deadly disaster, uh, deadly accident. It said the nuclear submarine was wrecked off the Liaoning Peninsula, not far from Dalian Harbor, during a scheduled underwater weapons test uh, test, which took place, which was scheduled to take place from August the 19th to the 27th. Shortly after the drill began, uh, the torpedo exploded, or a torpedo, I don't know whether it's a or the, I think it's a, um, a torpedo exploded in the launch tube during a torpedo shooting on August the 21st, causing the ship to crash and killing all crew members on board. It said that after the crash, China dispelled rumors by denying the incident, but couldn't hide the fact that the sailors didn't disembark according to the original schedule, and that civilian boats are still prohibited from entering nearby waters uh, up until now, indicating that the aftermath work is still in progress. Its sources in Beijing said that the theater command and the central military, I'm just giving you a rundown of what's being said in this Taiwanese report, okay? So everything I'm I'm saying now is according to this, this report. So its sources in Beijing said that the theater command and the central military commission have identified torpedo, uh, 
Torpedo explosion was the cause of the accident. The sub was equipped with the、uh, U3 advanced torpedoes, and the design of the I don't know what you call how do you translate the the fire control or the the control the design of the control mechanism that that fire or shot send the torpedo has serious problems. Um, the PLA leadership suspected that the procurement process involved、uh, involved fraud and corruption, and the investigations have extended into the Joint Staff Department of the Central Military Commission, the Equipment Development Department, and the PLA's Discipline and Inspection Commission. Up Media's Beijing sources also reveal that due to the rocket force investigations that started not long ago. The submarine crash investigation also focused on officers who have had prolonged contact with American military, and the officers' family members are included also in this investigation. Over a dozen of personnel are likely to be implicated in the case, including the commander of the naval forces in the Northern Theater Command, Wang Dazhong. Who was held accountable not only because he's the chief officer responsible for the、um, for the naval activities、um, in 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 the theater,、um, but also because of his previous role as the deputy director of the logistics department, an area prone to corruption and fraud because of the money involved, the tra- financial transactions involved. It said that China's missing defense minister Li Shangfu, who is being investigated in connection with the case, came from and who came from the equipment development department,、uh, will will be unable to escape the responsibility in this case.、Um, now, interestingly, the Taiwanese report also commented on the Daily Mail's report. It said that the British report is very similar. To、um, social media personality Lu De's version of the of this、uh, incident or accident, and Lu De was the first person who broke the news on social media.、Uh, it also quoted people who disagreed with Lu De's claim,、um, such as、um, the submarine should have more than fifty five s- sailors on board, and that it's impossible for the PLA. To hit its own anti-submarine devices,、um, so so that's pretty much what the、uh, Taiwanese report said in a nutshell. Comparing the Taiwan story to the British slash Lu De version, they both confirmed the accident、um, uh, and also confirmed that it took place on August the twenty first. First, so it's the same day. And and that everyone on board died. So these are the two、um, two things they confirm. They 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 agree with each other. It's the same, although Up Media didn't specify the number of casualties.、Um, the differences, however, between the two reports are big. First, location. Daily Mail said it took place outside Shandong Province in the Yellow Sea.、Um, Up Media said it took place. I have pictures. I want to show you. Here we go. So here's a picture. So Dalian, I noted Dalian and Qingdao, which are two、um, harbor ports that that has、um, military、uh, that has military base bases.、Um, so Yellow Sea is. So the British report said、uh, it took place. Around Shandong Province, Qingdao. I, I highlighted the city Qingdao in, with a red red spot. That that's in Shandong. So people generally believe、uh, in the British report that the the vessel left the Qingdao base and was in the Yellow Sea area, whereas the Taiwanese report said that it was not far from the Dai Dalian Harbor. So it's I circled it. It's in、um, around the Liao Liao、uh, Ning Peninsula. So the locations are different, and the cause of accident 
is different. Daily Mail said the sub was trapped by PLE's own anti-sub device, and a, man- a mechanical failure um, ensued, right, which caused air circulation problem, and eventually sailors die from um, what, what would you say hypoxia? Hypo- hypoxia? Is that the word? I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, because I like to learn words from you. Um, okay, so Taiwan's up media said there's a torpedo explosion in 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 the torpedo t- uh, tube, and that killed all the sailors on board. So the cause of accidents. Uh, accident is different, and now source is also different. Daily Mail credited leaked U.S. I mean, sorry, U.K. intelligence report as the source, um, whereas Up Media quoted sources from Beijing. Um, the focus of the report, uh, the focus of the reports, um, is very different. If you read the the two reports, they Gave you a very different feel of what the author is trying to uh, tell you. The Taiwanese report didn't provide any details on the accident. It was very brief. It only said one sentence that there's a torpedo explosion from the torpedo tube, which caused an ex uh, the the explosion. You know, killed everyone on board. It was as brief as that, um, but it focused on. It, it it talked a lot about the anti-corruption investigations um, of the equipment development equipment development department, the missing defense minister, and also anyone affiliated with the Americans. So it was extensively detailed about anti-corruption, but not so much about. The accident. Um, I almost got the feeling that, you know, when I read that article, when I read the Taiwanese article, I, I I saw myself like nodding my head to say, ah, this is, it makes sense. Like finally, I felt like someone connected the dots. Like finally, there seems to be、um, a good explanation that it, that that put everything into perspective, because so much has happened in the Chinese PLA, right? The the the, the rocket force and the missing defense minister, and then we hear rumors about you know、um, here and there. So that article seems to be、uh, perfectly kind of connected the dots, and I see myself say, oh yeah, it makes sense.、Um, But that that may be、uh, a tactic. That may be by design. I'll explain that later. Whereas the da- Daily Mail's report focused solely on how the sub got caught in a trap、uh, intended to to snar Western submarines, and、uh, if you if you even if look at the、uh, the headlines. If you look at the headlines, it, you kind of get a sense of what this article is all about. It's focused on that only. So, who should we believe? Right. This is this is what、uh, got me start thinking today. So, who should we believe? We have two very different versions of the story, and both are,、uh, I say, foreign press, meaning they're foreign to China. Right. One is from Taiwan, and one one is from the UK.、Um, The two reports are very different. The possibility that they are different parts of the same story, in my mind, is very low. A tragedy involving both a torpedo explosion and a technical fa- failure attributable to a, to the vessel being trapped by an anchor chain device isn't very high. Although I can't say there isn't that chance, but the chance isn't very high. Um, I think the the chance that there are more likely to be two different versions, two different stories of the same incident, is much higher. Meaning, there are two different stories told by two different、um, parties. That's much higher than the same story, you know,、um, but 
they're just each telling a, a piece of it. Um, so I tend to believe they are two completely different stories told by two different parties with different intentions and, and goals. And so that was my first assessment. So now Daily Mail has an update uh, since its first article on the 3rd. So on October the 6th, uh, the Daily Mail had another piece. Here we go. And this one talks about, the title is Furious China, believes the UK spies tracked one of their submarines by bugging a sailor's Apple smartwatch before the vessel got caught in one of Beijing's own underwater traps, killing all on board. Um, this one is also very sensational, um, but I was not surprised because I've seen the same story um, two days ago when I was researching uh, the, 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 for the live stream on Thursday. I saw the same story. And interestingly, this report, uh, it said, it said its source is, came from dissidents based outside China. So, he, uh, so the article said, dissidents based outside China told the paper that they have obtained copies of the CCP's investigation, uh, including Western inter interferences. And it says, and uh, this is a quote, quote from the dissidents. It says, we got an update from the Central Military Commission in a classified report. The CCP believes uh, MI6 and uh, the UK's intelligence agency bugged the Apple Watch of a high-ranking Navy officer in Guangdong, in the Guangdong Command, and caused the leak of the um, 093-417 accident. 417 is the number for the <clears throat> for the vessel. And it says this report has been given to Xi Jinping, and the officer has been arrested. They want to find a scapegoat with foreign connections. They believe the watch was used to record conversations about the submarine in a naval headquarters. Okay, so um, in my last live stream on Thursday, I said um, the two British reports are very similar. Um, to those published by Lu De, the YouTuber who has been disclosing information about the, this accident hours after it happened, right? Um, my last live stream pretty much, you know, gave you all the details that he he provided in addition to what, um, or uh, I gave you the deet all the details he provided that the two British reports left out. So when I saw this, I said, well, I read that because the same guy talked about exactly the same report. He had talked about um, uh, this, this Apple Watch <laughs> scandal or um, the, here, here it is. Here's, uh, this is his program on October, what was that, 4th. So according to this, his YouTube program on this day, he said, there's, um, uh, there's a, a leader or officer based in, in Zhanjiang base. Uh, Zhanjiang is in Guangdong, which is in the South Sea Fleet. And um, he his ranking was not very high, but he held a very important position. He wore an Apple smartwatch that his woman or his, I don't know, his mistress or... Uh, I don't think in this case it was his wife. I think it sounds like a mistress or a, a girlfriend. But the woman gave him a, a watch, an Apple iWatch, that she bought from the UK. And so, so according to this post, all the information, therefore, was obtained by the UK's intelligence agency. That's according to him. So when I when I saw the uh, the Daily Mail's report, I'm like, well, that's that. That ought to be the dissident because there's no one else who have been talking about this because that report is so. And also when Lu De, uh, released the, the information, he said this is, um, this is how he, he did this program with the title, How Did the UK Media Obtained 
the intelligence report about the uh, the incident. It's through that watch, and he said this is how the UK, uh, the British media got the information. It was through that watch. Um, or at least that's what the CCP believe. How the UK, how the, um, how um, how the British people, how the British agency got the information. And oh, by the way, here's a picture of the tor uh, torpedo um, that we're talking about. But I'll come back to that. So, um, it's he, he um. The Daily Mail, okay, so the Daily Mail um, article of October the 6th misled the readers. It made a mistake, and I don't think this mistake is small. I think it's a major mistake. Because if you read this title, you get the feeling that one of the um, deceased sailors wore an Apple smartwatch that inadvertently released the information to the British and that caused the accident uh, of the vessel. I mean, that's what this title uh, tells us, right? But if you read the article, that's not what the dissident told them because the dissident was saying that a, an officer in the base um, wore this watch and and he was arrested. So that guy was not on the on uh, not on the um, on the vessel or not on the submarine. So, I mean, it's it's just a, a mistake that I don't I don't think can be forgiven. You know, that mistake caught my attention. I was thinking, how could how could journalists? And this is by a defense editor. I mean, <laughs> if you are a defense editor, you'd better <laughs> you can't be making this. This is like a uh, this is like total ignorance. You, you're. T I mean, I'm someone who have already watched the video, so I know the background. But even if you don't, if you just read the entire article, you get so confused, okay? Um, because and then if you read uh, readers' comments, people say it's not true because inside a submarine, there's no signal. There's absolutely no signal. So your Apple Watch could not have could not have been sending signals from the from the from the submarine to the outside or to the British. It's impossible. So people were leaving comments like that. I don't know. So I'm like, why do they put this put out this article that's not even accurate? It's so um unbelievable. Um, but I know I have seen foreign um Western medias or media outlets making this kind of very Unforgiven mistakes because the content is sponsored, meaning um, the the content they really didn't write the piece; they were given the piece, and obviously, probably you know some some advantages. I don't know money or something. Sometimes they will make this kind of mistake when the content was fed to them by somewhere else, and um, I, I've seen that before. Um, because if you if you write the piece, if you did the investigative reporting, I mean you can be. I mean you have to lot think through your storyline, right? It, you can't make this kind of mistake. The only reason is somebody say, "Hey, you need to put this in your paper," and just you your heart is not in it. You take it, say, "Okay, well, fine. We'll just put a title on it and just send it out." Um, so that tells me this this article the the source of this. The source of this article wasn't Daily Mail original. It wasn't originally. It was not original work by a, da a Daily Mail journalist. It was fed to them by someone else. I immediately sensed that. Um, so I had the question. Then I asked myself the question, why did the British reports, this one and then the, the, the Times, always have this similarity with Lu De's disclosure of information. Um, so that forced me to go back and study the connections between Lu De and the British reports and also other media reports. Um, and then I found the Times piece was an original journalism. It was a very short piece and mostly quoting the Daily Mail. 
Um, now we know a lot of people didn't really take Daily Mail's uh, first story very seriously because they think it's, uh, like I said, middle market tabloid newspaper. But the Times is a, a broadsheet um, paper, so it has a lot more credibility. So when the Times published the piece, a lot of people, other media, like media outlets in India, in France, you know, um, reported the same story and they mentioned the Times piece. But it's very interesting. They, Although they mentioned the Times piece, the details came from the Daily Mail because the Times didn't offer much detail. And all the details came from Daily Mail, but they mentioned the Times. So then I asked myself a question. Why would a broadsheet newspaper publish a story based on a tabloid paper? Would the New York Times publish a story based on a story by the Daily News? I asked my friend. I, I seriously asked my They said no, they would not. Unless it's like breaking news that everyone is talking about. But if it's just a story like this, the New York Times wouldn't publish a, a short piece based on the story by the Daily News. I mean, that would be the journalistic standard that I would, you know, that, that I believe the, the time the New York Times would, you know, um, would hold on to. Who knows? Maybe they don't, maybe that standard is lower too. But in general, they wouldn't. Right. So I found it that's that's very interesting. But then the Times piece is very timely because it really legitimized Daily Mail's piece. Um, and and so so my conclusion. So um, so my conclusion is all the Western media reports came from Daily Mail. Um, and then where does Daily Mail's source come from? Well, leaked intelligence report, right? That and also now dissidents. So um, in my little team, we did a lot of hard thinking <laughs> today. I, I uh, grilled my, uh, my team member uh, very, very hard trying to ask questions from all angles and all we ex examine all possibilities i think i even got a headache from 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 thinking um but we came to the conclusion um we came to, came to this conclusion the same source the same party provided the information to lu de to daily mail and also to the british intelligence agency um, the same party fed that information to all three sources. And, and nowadays, you know, um, intelligence report certainly includes social media content, right? Uh, especially anything involving China. It's, it's, I, I must tell you, you know, all, any intelligence work uh, include social media contents, um, viral contents. So that's that's our conclusion, um, because nobody, you know, dis, despite all these disguises, like one thing leads to another, um, and we even came up with a term. Uh, it's called what? circular circular reasoning. You know, even though it's the same source, but you somehow um, you first fed it to the social media person, and then you fed it to the intelligence. Right. Of course, the intelligence agency will write it down because it. I mean, the information is is highly. It sounds highly credible, and it, it is credible. So the intelligence, you know, um, intake the person that intake the information would have to include it in some kind of a report. Then you can you can uh, feed that information to the media, and when the first media published the article, uh, it it kind of you know. Uh, endorses the social media person's disclosure of information because the social media person has disclosed so much details that the mainstream media, that the paper could not have uh, picked up because it's, you know, there are a lot of speculations and hearsays. 
but it's somehow endorsed. That's exactly the trick, the, the trick, I mean, the trap that I fell into Thursday. Because as soon as I saw the Daily Mail's report, I'm like, wow, it's so similar to Luda's report. Then let me go back to Luda's report to see what he has said. Wow, he said all this. And that kind of legitimizes that. And then for people who still have doubts, you know, you get the Times to publish a second piece. And the Times didn't do its own investigative report. It did not. It only repeated the story from Daily Mail. So its piece is so short. It's so short. However, when the Times pick up, pick up the story, then all the other media, the foreign media outlets started to pick up the story because, right, it's, it's like, it, okay, the New York Times picked up the story and maybe it's credible. Um, and so you see, this is an integrated approach. Uh, this is so smart. It, it integrates, integrates social media with traditional media and created this um, sensation. It, it really, it's, it creates a circular reasoning that make it very sound. Um, so well, the question is who, who could have done this? Right? Who could have done this? Well, this is obviously someone who's very well connected within the CCP leadership, someone who has access to top classified information. Otherwise, they would not have known all these, all the details about the incident, uh, assuming it's true. Let's first assume it's true. And at the same time, this party has close relations with Western intelligence community, Western media and also active members of, of the dissident, dissidents community based outside China, right? I don't know who it is, um, but I, my gut feeling is someone who, uh, who, who is spearheading the anti-Xi Jinping faction within the CCP. Um, so although we don't know who that is, I think Xi Jinping and his people know who that is. You know, they do know who that is. So they immediately counteracted. How what how did they counteract? They let a Taiwanese media to release reports saying something different. Um, they choose Taiwanese report. That's because they can't, I mean, they they don't want to go to um they don't want to go to a um a Western media, right? So because the Western media could be working with each other and, and comparing their notes and figure this out. So they choose a Taiwanese media. And their report, like I said, did not disclose much information about the accident, but focus on how the incident uh, is tied to the anti-corruption um, anti -corruption investigations. So it, it really, so the person who wrote the piece uh, the, the the mastermind of this publicity work had the had this idea in mind that they want to use this article as a way to kind of explain um, why Xi Jinping is doing an internal uh, a cleansing or or a house cleaning within the PLA. That it provide a very legitimate explanation of everything, all the a strange phenomena we've seen in the rocket force, Li Shangfu and all of that. Uh, even when I read it, I was, I was like, wow, this explains everything so clearly. Now I understand why this is happening. It did achieve that goal. Um, so you see, so that's, that's by design. That's clearly by design. And so you may say, well, what, but why does it use a torpedo explosion? That sounds like a more dramatic than, um, than a, a failed uh, air circulation system, right? Well, the the if you look at the UK piece, it's it's very damning because if the PLA is caught, if the the PLA sub is caught by its own <laughs> anti sub devices, and then it's um, and due to some technical malfunction and you know the air circulation system uh, has failed and 55 people died i mean that's just very scandalous it's it just make the pla look so so bad um so they choose 
um, to say that the Yun-3 torpedo explosion, they say the Yun-3 torpedo had a, a, a design issue, right, in its launch capability. It has a design <laughs> flaw. But you must know that the Yun-3 torpedo was China's first generation of self-developed tor torpedoes. It was designed in the 1960s and passed the first testing in the 1970s and mass produced in the 1980s. Although they have improved the, engineer, the engineering later, but no matter how you look at it, it's an old um, torpedo and so blaming its faulty design does not lose the CCP's face, right? I mean, it's just old. Um, and so it's definitely saving the face. Um, so let me come back. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and so I just get a very strong feeling when I read that Taiwanese article. It's like, it's so... You can read between the lines. I read, I read between the lines. Uh, the intention is so obvious. Um, and also, if you if you hear the other experts, they all say that an explosion is impossible. There could not have been an explosion on the nuclear submarine that took place without you know without the other countries saying anything. So you know people. Uh, I mean, the general consensus is that there was there was no explosion. So when when they say there was an explosion, it's just um, um, it, it's you know it's just incredible, right? It's incredible to believe that um, because if you say, well, it's a, a small explosion, then how do you explain that all fi all members uh, all members of the crew died if it's a small explosion, and if you say it's a big explosion and how come everyone is so quiet about it right why everyone is so quiet about an explosion on the nucleus sub so it just doesn't make sense so to summarize on the surface well i haven't i haven't answered the um uh, i haven't answered the question uh, so whose story is closer to truth so do we have a torpedo explosion or equipment malfunction um i don't think the anti Xi Jinping forces have an incentive to cover up an explosion, but Xi Jinping and his people have every intention to cover up um, the uh, uh, a, uh, a deadly dysfunctional um, air circulation, uh, whatever you call that, the, the the trap, the anchor chain um, trap, whatever you call that. So if you look at that. So I believe the um, the equipment malfunction story is more credible as far as what actually happened um, to that sub. Um, so to summarize, on the surface, we see two completely different stories by two media outlets outside China. The essence is that two political forces within the top leadership of the CCP um, are trying to use foreign press to gain an upper hand uh, in its influence operation or, or publicity influence operation um, regarding this uh, submarine incident. So that's my assessment of the situation. Hopefully this is not, um, I know this is speculative analysis. Uh, I do not have any other evidence than anything that I have read and shared with you, but that's my my analysis of the situation, and um, because I I want to know which um, my team and I want to know well which story do we really believe in, and then and in order to find out that we have to go through many rounds of discussions and analysis, and then we come to uh, uh, that what I think a good and sound conclusion and i just share that with you okay all right it's a mouthful to, for me to say <laughs> on a saturday night okay let me see did i bore people to death and my sailor inspired jacket or top uh is being washed so i don't have that to wear but i wore a a pineapple inspired <laughs> uh shirt that i think is is 
related to tropical weather. Um, so maybe <laughs> maybe it's close to um, yeah. Uh, all right. So let me see if people have questions for me. Um, Sir Humphrey, hi, Lee. Have to work. Have a great question, provo question provoking live stream. Thank you, sir. I I appreciate that. Thank you. Let me see if people have no poo fan. Thank you. Thank you for the super sticker from McLean Blades. Thank you, Blades. <laughs> um, from Travel with Love Saturday. Good health, success, and happiness. Thank you. Thank you, Travel with Love. Uh, no poo fan. These are sunken costs for the CCP. Haha. <laughs> True. All right. Um, so let me see. That seems to be all. Okay, let me just pick some questions. If you have questions for me, put my name in front so I know it's addressed to me. Uh, oh, Travel with Love said happy saturday <laughs> happy saturday and happy sunday i'm translating his he said or she i'm not sure um uh is that person said his or her in her chinese is not very good sorry and but he or she loves us all well thank you your chinese is very very good very well um thank you thank you boy ka china Lovely, Leo. Oh, thank you. Uh, I think it's my pineapple-inspired shirt, <laughs> my trop tropical shirt. All right. Um, let me see if people have questions for me. All right. Um, not bored. Not boring. Uh, this is not boring. Okay. John Blank, Lay. Uh, where did that question? Surely, if it was a torpedo. Exp Loading, someone would have monitored the sounds. Yes, yeah, I, I think so. That, that's why I don't believe it's it's a torpedo explosion. Um, so, agreed. Uh, Mike Castro, please don't spread fake news because you hate China. I don't hate China. I think people. Uh, here, don't don't hate China at all. We love China. Uh, we care about China. We want China to have a great future. We worry about China. We worry about Chinese people. And I hope that you share the same same passion as we do. We worry about Chinese people, don't you? I mean, you have to. How could you not worry about the people living in that country? All right, um, Mitsu. Would you ever do an interview with an Indian talk show on YouTube? One of the hosts on there really likes your takes and wanted to talk to you regarding China. Um, I have not been interviewed by others, uh, except that interview I did in Taiwan because I was there and they invited me to their studio and, and said, sure. So I have not done any interviews yet. <laughs> that was my only one. So I will I will give it some thought. Uh, Angel, you didn't bore me, Lay. I found geopolitics fascinating. Good, good. Okay. Um, unconventional ideas. Is there any update about the PLA commands disarray? Um, yeah, there's so many. Um, I'm telling you, there's so many rumors coming out of China, and I don't want to prematurely do anything because I want the dust to settle a little bit. People have been sending me information about, you know, this rumor, that rumor here and there. And I've seen some YouTubers have been reporting them. I like to wait until I have formed a solid opinion uh, or, uh, or when I feel like I, I feel sure about what I'm talking about. So it's just, there's so many rumors out there, you know, and, yeah, so I don't want to prematurely say anything. Daily Mail, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> okay, NTN, torpedo explosion will be 100% detected by all the navies in the area. Modern sensors are extremely powerful, and PLA would know it's impossible to hide, so the explosion aims sounds false. 
Um, I think, it, yeah. And so that's why they changed the location. They brought the location. If you, if you notice my map, um, see, they, they brought the map all the way inland, like very close, right? So Yellow Sea would be further out. You know, it would be uh, closer to Japan and South Korea. And they, they, they brought the location further in <laughs> because they would have, um, I don't know. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just, um, yeah, nobody believed it's that there was a real, that there was a real explosion. Um, because if, if it's a small explosion, uh, pe how could people die? Right. Everyone on board died. I mean, that must be a serious explosion. Um, Jeff Ramos, nowadays, a lot of the press do not have money. I, ha I can see this publication being manipulated by any CCP factions. Agree. Yep. Thank you for sharing your thought. Yo Ming, thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, so Alpha Aurora, what your uh, circular citation is also called source laundering. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it, source laundering. It can be far more sophisticated between op-eds, news articles, and even academic papers. Wow. That's very sophisticated source laundry. Yep. Circular citation. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Um, uh, from Mitsu, I think the CCP has drastically increased tanky funding. I say this because Ben Norton moved to China and he is very credible in left circles on YouTube. He is in a hack like CCP. All right. Um, okay. All right. Uh, from Leonard Walton. That's a nice top you have on. It looks like a bunch of atomic atoms. Really? <laughs> All right. Wow. That's scary. Am I wearing some weapons, <laughs> some logos for weapons? That's a scary thought. To me, it's, um, it's just the pretty, there are pineapples. There are uh, pineapples, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, how did the ousting of the Speaker of the House in the U.S. and the subsequent halting of the function of the Congress affect Chinese politics? Um, I have not really followed that. I... I I need to take a look. I think they will probably just ridicule American politics. Um, they will look at this from their political factions perspective. Um, so I think, you know, they will certainly attack American democracy as they have done many times before. So, yeah. I have not thought, I have not looked into that topic yet. What's Ed C? What's the chance that there was no submarine incident? What does the U.S. not confirm? I think that chance is very small. If there was no incident, why do we have two media saying that there is an incident? Um. I think that chance is very, very small, right? I think that the chance is very small. Um, although there is a chance. Um, Sumiland, thank you for this report. It seems everyone wants to know details that will never be reviewed. So the press tries to spin something logical out of rumors. I'm glad you do it. Well, thank you, Sumiland. Thank you. Thank you for um, getting people organized. Andrew Zesky, Ches Zesky, how are you dealing with um, Bidenomics? And is IPE? Iptigles, a little pink. I don't know that word. What does that mean? Iptigles. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Biden economics. I talked about it in um, in one of my live streams last week about how he's concerned with the economy, the the downfall of of China's uh, the, the detonation of um, 
chi the Chinese economic time bomb, the, the impact on the U.S. economy. I talked about that. I did a number of videos, and also I talked about um, the relations of uh, between Wall Street and China. Um, it's we're talking about two trillion dollars of of impact of Wall Street investments in China that would be impacted. I did a number of programs on that. Um, 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 from Peter, do you think that the mention of the Apple Watch was part of the push by the CCP to ban Apple and promote Huawei? Yeah, I, I find that Apple Watch talk that's not credible. Because people, I mean, I saw other people, you know, say it's highly unlikely that the woman bought an Apple, I mean, brought a watch from the UK and they have, you know, have something added to it and give it to, um, to, um, to, to the officer. I think I find it not credible, although I, you know, don't have evidence to, uh, to dispute it. I just don't find that story very convincing. Um, uh, okay, Jeff Chia, Kia, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. All right, unconventional ideas. Okay, from anti PCC, anti PCC, <laughs> CCP. <laughs> And I CCP, you have PCC. Okay, great subtle attire. No more banning of Taiwanese pi pina pineapples. Yes, Taiwanese pineapples are delicious. Absolutely. Um, unconventional ideas. Is it possible that we are dealing with two submarine disasters in close proximity in time and place? There is a possibility. I don't know. Um, we'll have to... Ask out. We have to keep tracking what's what's being said. Mm -hmm. JP, do you think today's attack at Israel will affect CCP? I think it's uh, look at the chaos in the world. It just doesn't. Um, when the world, you know, more chaos certainly benefit the CCP and not the United States. So today's chaos. I mean, today's attack. Center, certainly put the U.S. in a disadvantaged position, um, and yeah, in, in its confrontation or competition with the CCP. So it's not not good, not good. All right, um, from St. Louis. Opposed. Okay, th this name is really long. I don't know how to how to pronounce the entire um, name, but is it possible for there to be a coup d'etat to dispose Xi Jinping within the CCP? Would the next leader end up being just as communistic or even more communistic than Xi Jinping? It's possible. The next leader, anyone who opposed Xi Jinping but not the communist regime could be more dangerous than him, right? So... So there, there are people who oppose Xi Jinping, but not the communist regime or not CCP. Then you ask, you ask yourself why. Um, um, all right. Okay. I think I'll pick two more questions. Um, okay. From J Jama Jamal. Lei, in another video, you said Xi Jinping was superstitious and worries he would be violently deposed. Why then didn't he choose a successor and get out of there? He could still run things like Jiang Zemin did. It's very difficult now. Um, I think he did want to, but at this point, um, he would have to... That's a big topic. I'll, I'll I'll probably make a video to talk about that. It's very difficult for him to choose a successor now, um, because anyone under him, the people who are strong enough to take over the job, are his opponents that he does not tr that he don't he doesn't trust, and people who obey obey him are not strong enough to take to do the job. So he has no one. 
And that's the problem with all the dic uh, dictators. You know, they have, um, that's just their problem. They can't duplicate themselves. Uh, travel with love. Coffee support. Oh, thank you for the coffee support. All right. Okay, I'll take one more question, and then um, I'll enjoy my weekend. Uh, let's see. Um, from, okay, this one. Okay, from Kiwi Green. Did you notice the hail storm that destroyed China's harvest came right after the weather CTR, the, the bloom, the, the air bloom for clear skies at Asian games? I have not noticed that. I, I have not. Um, so, yeah, I can't really answer that question. All right. Well, that's all for tonight. Thank you very much. Um, I'll see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.